All right, this is just a short video showing you how to deal with acid and base reactions. According to the Bronsted-Lowry theory, as far as what an acid is, an acid is one that donates a proton. Or protons are considered as just the hydrogen atom minus its electrons. So the Bronsted-Lowry considers this kind of like the currency, instead of cash, in reactions that are acid-base. The H plus is the currency. Someone kind of takes it and someone gives it. When Bronsted-Lowry, it's about transfer of that proton, H plus. Bronsted-Lowry de definition of an acid-base reaction. So I just want to put one in the box here that you're asked to put in the box. HCl, and we're going to react that with just water. Of course, if you take muriatic acid, we looked at it just this last week making hydrogen gas, and this is reactive and it can hurt you. Why? Well, it has this tendency to give up that H as a proton, not as a hydro hydrogen with its electron, its one electron, but as a proton. So what it tends to do is it gives it up to the water. So water taking one more H becomes H3O, but because it takes a hydrogen that has a positive charge, it itself becomes positive. We'll see more about that as to why in class. But for now, just know if you're neutral and you have to accept a proton from this acid that donates H+, you're going to become positive. If, again, if you're neutral, you're going to become positive. And of course, you're going to have one more hydrogen. What's left is the Cl minus anion left over when HCl gives up the H plus to water. We make H3O, which is called hydronium ion, and we make a chloride anion. Now, it is slightly reversible. It says something that this reaction is reversible. Most all reactions have some amount of reversibility, but HCl is a very, very favored towards giving the proton to water or whatever it's in. So what I want you to do for me in this first one here below is I want you to think about this donation of a proton. In this case, we have just two water molecules, and one of them is going to take the H of the other, but it's going to do so without these electrons in the bond. So it's going to take the oxygen. We're going to draw an arrow from who's taking it. We have one water molecule take it. This is going to be left without then the hydrogen. So we'll draw that one first in this example here. We drew it last. So it would be OH minus because it's got two H's, but now it only has only one. And it has a negative charge just like this has a negative charge. And of course, if this was a negative, this is going to be left as positive, H3O. And I'm going to draw it without the structure. Because it took, and we'll close with this, this water molecule, took a hydrogen, but really a proton, H+. Plus, and because it did that, it made what we call hydronium ion. And it left the other, mole, other water molecule with a negative charge. Try this with the other examples that you have, 2 through 5 in class, and this is our introduction to acid-base reactions.